All right, as we get into the game, guys, you see Tariq, Dion, and Quandre. It's my top three. And my opponent is Dion, cornerback, Ran wide receiver Randy, my apologies, and Michael Vick. So, uh, yeah, definitely no intro for this gameplay, guys. We're going to jump right into it. There's nothing really for me to spotlight or anything of that nature. So, why would I do that? So, uh, second and four here, going to go look to a, a uh, corner flat combo on the outside. We do try to hit DK Metcalf. Perfect accuracy, but for some reason, Russell just overthrows him. Uh, I don't know what it is, man. I think Russell's been, you know, playing a little bit weird for me lately. I don't think it's that bad, though. Uh, as you see, he actually is on the D-line. He actually does bat the ball down with his uh, D-lineman, but uh, we go to a nice curls play. We pick up the first down, and uh, this is where the tilt begins. You see right here, user strip fumble. Yeah. That that basically set the tone for this entire game. My opponent on offense, my opponent on defense was... He wasn't the best, okay? And, and offensively, run game-wise, I will give my opponent this. Run game-wise, he actually had a really solid run game. I won't disagree with... I won't fight him on that. His run game was really, really good. However, passing the ball, th this guy just made so many questionable decisions, but you'll see some of those later on in this game as he gets another inside zone run there. We actually do not get the... We do not pursue the ball carrier very well. Uh, so second and one here. Um, obviously, he chucks that up. You know, that was actually a, not a bad read. Um... Cam was not in a position to play that, so unfortunately, he does pick up a new set of downs. And as you see right here, first and 10, another handoff, this time going to outside zone. Uh, that was his preferred run, was outside zone, uh, just because I have one inside stuff on Sam Adams. So obviously, he's going to want to go outside from that to not have the inside stuff trigger. Uh, but as you see, second and six, he does fight all the way to the one yard line. And uh, yeah, he calls goal line here. I'm in nickel. I did not mean to call this play. Um, I, I did it on accident, so, uh, yeah, we give up a touchdown, but he does try to go for two, and he does miss it, so, first and ten here, obviously, stick concept, he does whiff on it, uh, well, he doesn't whiff on it, uh, we do get the catch with Hester, but drops it, second and ten, that's, we're gonna throw this away, obviously, not take a sack, uh, third and ten here, now, like, obviously, I'm in a bad spot here, but Hester gets the nice, uh, speed dig, um, route to come through, and he does get the catch, so, New set of downs, and right here, just before the end of the quarter, Greg Olson fries on the outside corner, on the tight end corner route, and we do take it down the field, just outside of the red zone. Uh, so after one, we're down six, nothing. So right here, first and ten, another play. Uh, we're gonna go into a pass here. We call him mesh concept. We, because I know for a fact he's in man. Uh, at this point, he was calling like just zero blitz all the fucking time. He was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna send seven every play. Uh, but this time he doesn't. We throw the nice uh, C route to Metcalf. He comes back to the ball, makes a great play. Uh, so first and goal here. You guys know what we do? A heck of chuck it, fuck it. But this time we get picked off. Now, as you can see, I am very, very livid. I'm very upset. Like, I'm screaming. I'm getting upset. However, if you look at this right here, he was actually in a perfect position to pick that off. He was shading inside on that fade. And so, therefore, he actually was in a good position to make a play on the ball. What I need to do, I need to get into the mutt practice mode. Oh, God, that feels so nice to be saying out loud, mutt practice mode. Uh, but I need to get into the mutt practice mode and work on the outside shade, like work on getting those high balls, uh, fading outside. But right here, as you see, this one should have been absolutely picked off. You see the ball is absolutely in Cam's hand and the pick artist did light up because I, I don't have a deep end zone KO there. Uh, it is just pick artist. Uh, third and four, he tries to shot down the sideline, but, uh, we got Tariq and Cam that chance learned to break that up. Fourth and four here. Now, on this play, you see Wagner does get sucked into the middle of the field there by the curl with his curl flat, opening up the flat to Antonio Gates to pick up a new set of downs. So, yeah, not again, not off to a great start. Realistically, do not want to give this guy more points and give this guy a touchdown because it's already a deep hole as it is being a down six nothing. And being in EA has made it clear I'm going to have a hard time getting a pick on this guy because. Like, again, some of the stuff that this dude was throwing just made me question, like, what are you doing? You know, like, uh, again, you'll see more of it as the game goes on. But second and first, second and one here, we goes to an outside zone. He does pick up the first. And uh, now we're in the two-minute warning. First and ten here. He does go to this play. Um, Cam does break that up, which, good for him. I'm glad he broke that up because I, I was afraid of getting tagged. Uh, second and ten, he gets, takes the check down to Jim Taylor. He does uh, get a little bit outside of Tariq and does give up make us go into a third and two so third and two here again another inside run this time he does pick it up with taylor 
Uh, like I said, this guy's run game was actually really good. Like, I, I'm not going to take anything away from him in his run game. He did have some good runs. He did have some good gaps, uh, gap shoots. He did know what his, uh, good, where he had to take the ball, uh, in his specific design runs. Uh, again, it's just this pass game just left a lot to me, question, for me to question. Uh, but second and, second and, I can't remember, second down, but, uh, we need to make the tackle. He goes with third and six here. Uh, now we're trying to obviously make sure we get off the field, but he does take the quick flat to Antonio Gates and we do give up eight, another first down this time calls a timeout to stop the clock. So first and 10, 37 yard line, again, another actually is a play action rollout. Buffrini does disengage and he does get the sack on Michael Vick. So second and 16 here, he is way backed up. Obviously cannot be in a, cannot take another sack here. Otherwise he is out of field goal range, tries the deep shot and yeah, he does take, he, you know, he throws it into coverage, Quandre, as well as a couple of other people break that up. Uh, so third and 16, I put Woolen on a soft squat, but for some reason, he doesn't come up with the ball. Uh, you see, again, I'm getting very upset. You look again right here, Woolen, he, at the very least, should have been there to knock the ball out, but for whatever reason, they do allow him to complete that, and Quite frankly, I think that's ridiculous. If a defender is right in the area, he should be able to come away with that ball, uh, especially if it's a bad read on competitive modes. But unfortunately, he does take his three, so we're down nine nothing. First and ten, bats it up at the line of scrimmage again. Uh, second and ten, I just call four birds here. I just throw this up. Think to God, hope to God, DK gets an egg. But he does actually have a little bit of separation. Does come down with the ball. So first and ten from the fourteen, we call the exact same play, and we get Greg Olson over the middle for his for a touchdown. And we do kick the extra point. And then obviously at the end, you know, he has a Hail Mary, throws it up, does get picked off by Chancellor. So second and four here, uh, on this play, he goes to a nice quick out route. First and 10, I, can, I don't know if the first play on play was there. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, but first and 10 here, uh, he goes to a speed out there. Cam Chancellor comes over to knock that down. Uh, second down here, he, coming up, we call, I believe we're making, yeah, we're making a little bit of adjustments. We're manning up the running back and shit. Uh, we put, uh, we sh probably should have put Reek in a hard flat there, but third and five, I know this flat route right here is coming, but I, I just can't pick it off. I, again, as you see, I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting tilted. I'm just absolutely losing my mind here because I really feel like I should be coming away with these interceptions, but you know what? He kicks his three. He goes up by five. So, um, first 10, obviously we take that run with Edred. Second and, uh, first and 10, new set of downs. I know it's cover zero because I saw that safety drop down immediately into man on man coverage on the tight end. So me seeing that and me liking what I saw, I'm hoping to see if I can hit Metcalf on the deep post. Uh, again, that free safety comes down. Pressure in our face. Metcalf uses his size to get the ball, um, which good because again, like I, I can't be afforded to give up shit right now. Uh, we take Hester on the spot route. He does drop this one though, unfortunately. Uh, so second and 10 here, obviously me personally with this play, I'm trying to get some yardage back to see if I can make it a manageable third and two or like a third and five or third and six. Uh, but we actually do get a nice run here with Edrin, get about five. He does try to strip the ball. Uh, at this point, I'd put on ball carrier conservative. Uh, you know, when you lose one fumble, obviously you're going to go on conservative. At least I do. Uh, we go to a nice sticks concept there with Jerry. He does get the nice route tech. To, he get his route tech to activate and we're getting a new set of downs off the slant. So uh, first and 10, again, run with Edrin. Second and 10, second and six here. Again, we do the old huck it, chuck it, fuck it. DK comes down with the ball, fights for the end zone, comes away with the touchdown. Uh, we tried to go for two to make it a field goal game, but unfortunately we do not score. So we are up one with, you know, 14 seconds in the third and then we got basically the third, the fourth quarter. So yeah, not in a great position. I would have loved to have obviously made it to where a field goal is a tie and he has to play for the win with a touchdown, but uh, obviously we can't have everything. So, uh, but again, fourth quarter here, trying to milk the clock. He, I think he was chewing clock this game, this quarter, cause he was thinking he could try and get a field goal, which I don't blame him. Definitely trying to make this the last possession of the game, especially if you feel like you can move the ball. Uh, second and five here, he does try this pass down the field and he comes away with it. Again, as you see, I am very pissed off because again, that's a deep out zone KO. I, I don't give a crap if I'm playing the ball in that situation. Uh, that's gotta be knocked down. Okay. These ags are just absolutely overpowered. They gotta be fucking fixed. Uh, and I fear the, the sad thing is I fear they won't be, I fear they're going to be this way the entire year. I don't think EA is going to change them because if they were going to change them, they would have done so by now. So second and seven, I know this is a stretch left, so I run commit. So we actually get him in the backfield for a third and nine. So 
big down here gotta get a stop and we do and not only do we get a stop but kobe actually does take that all the way back for a house call does not get run down by michael vick as we take it for a 60 next 68 84 yard touchdown i want to say uh, i think that was 84 yards because it was at the 16 i i can't really math like that so now we're up a we're in great position here we just need to hold them to literally like at best three points at worst you know a a touchdown with no two-point conversion because he's got to go for two at this point uh so third and ten here calling two man under trying to keep everything in front obviously you know try and prevent those uh, aggressive catches and he tries to throw up a deep shot down the field but Deion sanders who has recently moved back to outside corner comes away with the ball and we try to run it three times we end up punting we got one second left this is basically game here he's got to throw this up he's got to hopefully get something and he throws it out of bounds so that was the end of the game guys uh, we take a 20 to 8 to 20 to 12 lead over, uh, get win over my opponent. Uh, as I said, this game was very rage inducing. I I'd lost my mind a couple of times in this game, uh, or whatever's left of it, because God knows my mind is completely shattered uh, from nonsense that has happened. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, Seahawks team team lineup update once again gonna be coming tomorrow, uh, so keep an eye out for that, gentlemen. But I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.